Hi right, folks, welcome back from PJ2 to K23. Now we're going to jump in and play the Players' Championship, TPC Soulgrass, because if you look at the FedEx Cup standings, I've actually dropped below first place, so I'm in second place now. And I want to try and keep up the run about the top somewhere. So I'm just going to play this because the new courses are a little bit further ahead. I've withdrew from quite a few tournaments to get to this position, and I've dropped down into number two. But also, if you look over to my sponsors, I've lost one of my sponsors. I remember in the last video I said your sponsors are gained by um, reputation. So the more you play, the more you win, the better you do. They all come after you and they want you to join them. They want to sponsor you. But Engip's Callaway I had actually came up after that last round that I played. I said, you're not performing to the standard that we thought you were, you, that you should be um, performing. So we we're actually terminating our sponsorship with you. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so I haven't got another sponsor yet because I haven't been playing in all the tournaments. Nobody wants to sponsor me. So they're all unavailable at the moment, except for the ones that I've still got. And if you've noticed, my reputation has gone down from, um, I think it was perfect or something on the other one, or really good or something like that. But now it's dropped down to good and fine. So if I keep pulling out of tournaments, you're not going to get sponsors, which is pretty cool, I think. So let's jump into uh, the Players' Championship and we shall play this. As I said, I want to try and pull out of some tournaments so I can play the Renaissance Club and St. George's and I think it was Wilmington was the other one, if I remember right? They're quite far up on the, the, the schedule. But this is one of my favourite courses anyway. I love this course. proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship Today's coverage is about to start. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey, and it's a good Must admit, I do like them little transitions and that they've got. They look pretty cool. Okay, let's get into this straight away. Oh, my mouse cursor's in the way. You probably can't see it because I don't record it while it's on OBS, my mouse cursor. Be okay lovely now hopefully i play a lot better than i did that last bloody round because that last round was absolutely terrible okay 135 yeah, well, he might be slight in stature. I think he's 160 pounds ringing wet. Oh, shit. Big on confidence and bold with his eyes. Excuse my French. You're like probably going to hear a few of them. <laughs> you better go hole hunting. Ah, so that's my rival, Will Zelatoras. Right, I'm going to chip this. Look how far you can chip it now as well. Oh, so close. We've got perfect there. From that distance, it's not too bad with your, your tempo, but the very short chips off the fringe and stuff, pretty hard. Right, we're off to a good start. Well, not a bad start, that's a par. <laughs> so Justin Rose is minus three after 13. We should be able to beat that. The first of our birdie opportunities comes at the second par five. Okay, here we go. Par five. That's turning quite nice, even though it's a bit of a fast. Just over 300 yards. We got the fairway. Should go on the green too. Yeah, yeah. Them transitions there. They're, they're pretty cool. A lot better looking than what the 2K21 was. Justin, unlucky mate. I'm surprised he hasn't went to live, to be honest, with Poulter and Westwood. Going for this green in two rich, it's an exciting but daunting task. Right. Gonna go with a hybrid here. Fairway. You know that you have a little bit room over to the left, but you're gonna fall off into a low area, and if you miss it out to the right, you're gonna find a Sugar. bunker on the right Get up. side of the green. It's not too bad actually. Might hit that little bunker there. Nope, in the light rough, so that's not too bad. It just gives a nice little little chip shot. Oh, it's going to go quite far. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? 
Alright, down the hill here. Gotta be gentle. Downhill? It's not. Yes, that's better. Come on. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Oh, I had my first playoff earlier as well. Uh, against, I think it was Tiger actually. Can't remember what course it was. Right, 172, we're 170. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. As I said, I always hit 100, 102%. Oh, come on. 103 that time. very twitchy oh yes yeah when I the first couple of rounds I played I was like bloody hell I was like hitting them past quite a bit I think they'll sort that out though well, the fourth is another great example that it doesn't need to be a long par four to be a testing one this fourth could be menacing can't it par four 334 yards a oh, bit of a slow that's not bad. You see, look, it's not actually turning that much. I think that's down to the archetype thing that I'm using. I think if I went powerhouse, that would be you know, further over to the right. Sitting at two under par, currently tied for fourth place. Oh, that was a oh. bit, of pass bit of a slap. That's going to kick onto the green, though. Oh, get in there. Nice. Oh, we just missed that. Just missed it. Putting for a par now. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Just one off the lead after that hole. I think as long as you're up there near about, and as long as you beat your um, your rival, you, you'll be all okay. You'll be okay, XP wise and that. That would be nice. Just catching that little bit of a slope that. Maybe a downhill shot. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Currently a shot off the lead. Okay, with the nine iron, I think. Again, I find it so hard to hundred percent. Same as two K twenty one. Get in now. Okay, three under. Nice. The tee shot of the par four six has changed a lot now that that tree's been taken out of the way, Rich. But uh, what do you think of this short par four? I do actually think it's better optimized as well. This game, even though this uh, the preview build and now the build, I think this is the build the guys were playing it over East Lake when they were over at East Lake a couple of weeks ago. Oh, palm trees are right in my way here. Well, we've got 65 to 74%. So I think I'm going to have to take it around these trees as well. I think I might go up one more. Hold on, we're on pitch shot. Let's go with the normal. Right, let's try that again. And, oh, that, yeah, I keep forgetting it just flicks back that. Right. Let's go three and put quite a bit of fade on that. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, it didn't turn. Didn't turn. That's pretty.
probably down to my fittings as well because I don't think I've got any fittings on that give me shot shaping. So all that kind of stuff is going to help as well. As I said, you're going to have quite a few different builds, I reckon. Shit. That's not too bad. But I think with all games that have builds, you're going to have your meta build as well. Like the guys who are in TGC 2s, they're going to go for pure power. But then again, how's that going to work? Because like I've always said, you get TGC 2 syndrome with designers. A lot of designers create their courses to be played on tours because they get that many plays. And with uh, like TGC 1, TGC 2 and things like that, I always called it, as I said, TGC 2 syndrome. Some of the courses were just ridiculous. So if all these guys on the TGC tours on the platinum rounds and things, stuff like that, if they're going for the like the, all the power and they're carrying 330, 330 yards and rolling to 340, 350, then all the courses are going to start coming out. They're going to start having the hazards run about that distance as well and their courses are going to be longer so for somebody like me using the archetype that I'm using that hits a little bit shorter then it's going to be pretty tough so hopefully they don't again 102% that's going to be long that's going to be quite a bit long I think oh no no it's not too bad a little bit left of the pin. Yes, get in now. Yeah, if you watched my last round, this is like 20 minutes after that that round I played. I went and had a cup of coffee and stuff, so... A little bit more relaxed. <laughs> As I've said this many times before, it's weird. Um, if you play, just jump on. Like, I, I speed the ball up and all that kind of stuff, but when I'm doing a video, I don't. And it's actually quite... Uh, when you say it's hard, it's it's easy to lose your concentration when you're sort of commentating. Right, three words. I'll just pull this back a bit. Shouldn't be too bad, actually. It's on the green. I think it might kick over to the left here. That'll do lovely. Gives a chance. Get in. Oh, the putting's coming alive. And also got my Scotty Cameron putter there as well. I can't remember where I win that from. I think it was, I don't know if it was one of the rivals or just winning um, one of the tournaments. Okay, ninth hole, par five. Let's go. Beautiful. 103% and a perfect. Uh, you see, 103% perfect, and I only rolled out to just over 300 yards, and I'm not going to reach this green too. I should be up there. Oh, I'll tell you what, bloody close, not bad. Okay, let me pitch shot. Oh, fast. Pull up, come on. That'll do. That's another birdie. Nice. Ah, look at the difference, eh? Six under after the front nine.
Well, here we have it, Rich. This player's tied for the lead with the back nine to play. Okay, CT Pan's doing pretty well. Six under. Promise you that. After ten. How they perform over this final night, and if they can get the job. Okay, tenth hole, par four. As you make the turn here at TPC Sawgrass, the tenth hole is a clever one. Pretty basic par four, just four hundred twenty-four yards to the back tee. Players take out a hybrid or a three wood, hit it out to the right hand side, which will be the short second shot. However, lots of undulations on this green, so make sure. Yeah, as you see, only 302 yards I'm hitting. There was a little bit of wind against us there, but. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, oh, I felt that one fast. They've decided to club up. Oh, is it going to hold? No, it's a little slope that. That's gone off. Go. We should pick up the par. Nice. Xander Shelfley is coming off a birdie, which will take him to within one shot of the lead. And that will definitely get the attention of our leader coming to these five. Okay, another par five here. Oh, bit of a slow. I think it hit the branches. It did. I don't know. Three or three. Yeah, it definitely did hit the branches because the wind's going with us here. That's still only rolled out three or three. Right. Three wood. Oh, that's nice. It's going to be a little bit left of the pin now. Is it going to turn back in? Oh, pin height. That'll do it. Oh, look at that for an eagle putt. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Shit. Missed it. Damn it. Oh, look at my putt and stroke. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Pulled it way left there. Oh, I'm up it. Two shots clear though. Xander Schuflight, CT Pan. Nice. They can, but they better be aware that there's a lot of danger up there. Water left obviously is no good, but even failing out to the right in those dunes, in the mound. Okay, I'll use a nice little pitch. On top of those mounds. Well, forget about it. That's not a good space either, especially since the green does run pretty hard from right to left. If you want to take this hole on the Oh, that should be pretty good. Expecting to make three. Well, you need to realize that a five oh, just a little bit short. A bit too much loft. Nicely done. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Oh, I thought that was in. Honestly, thought that was in now. This putt's about four feet from the hole. That's a clutch par. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. I was going to say 18 to ready. <laughs> I was going to can't think it was that bloody quick. Big John. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Ooh, only one shot ahead now. Okay, 13th, par three. Uh, eight iron. Yeah, let's go with just, let's just go with eight iron here. Oh, a little bit too fast. 103%. That's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Go on. Yes. Another birdie. Quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. What a difference from that last round. 
Plenty of trouble around this golf course. The 14th, the par 4, represents a number of that. <gasps> oh, shit. Now, if that was 2K21, that would have been in the water. I think if I was using the powerhouse um, archetype as well, that probably would have been in the water. I can't go over that tree there. I kind of have to, might go over that one there, that little one. What oh, we've got? Seven iron. I think. I'll just draw this, I reckon. Oh, let's put up one more club. Yep, six iron. Let's draw that around the trees here. Even though that was a big slow, that turned quite a bit. That'll do it. Gives another chance at a putt anyway. I really need to start going to my bed early. It's bloody half three in the morning again. <laughs> I just looked over at my other screen. That's a nice little camera angle, that. I like that. We'll take a par there. That will drive you bats. Yeah, as long as I stay ahead in the, the standings, and I don't want to lose all my bloody sponsors as well. But I think that's pretty good, because when it happened, I was like, you're kidding me. <laughs> but then you think about it, it's all based on reputation, so yeah. Yeah, it's quite good what they've done there. Shit. Again, you can see, you've noticed as well with the... The perfect in the the, the the gray fast and slow bar. The gray fast and slow bar is a lot bigger now as well. So you've got a lot more room for error. Straight back up this hill can be firm here. That's no one here. It's weird that you can tell as soon as you hit it. Oh, take the par. Okay, we've got par five coming up now. Still only one shot ahead. Ooh, a bit of a slow. Do not go in the rough. Ooh, that's going to be bloody close. Ooh, it's turned. Nice. Get in there. Ooh, that is bloody close. Right on the edge. We should go on a green too, yeah? Oh, ho, ho, ho. do I go with a five? Is that a five iron? Yep. I think we'll go with a five iron. Let's get a bit of run on the ball. Sugar. Slow. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, that's alright. In the bunker. Ooh, I thought that might have been in the water there. As long as I get a par. Yeah, what I'll probably do as well, I'll probably play a few of the others off, off um, not record them, so I keep above on the, the FedEx points. Uh, just so I can get to the new the new courses and get them done. Let you have a look at them. They're nice courses, well, I think. It's the St. George's I played. I think that's a pretty tough little course, that one, you know. I think they're all quite nice though. Oh, here we go. Love this hole. Par 317, 100%, 100%, but a little bit of a fast, so it's going to be left of the pin. Oh, 
Oh, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, I thought that was a bit pacey there. Right, what are we on and how much are we ahead now? Shot, Two shots? Yeah. Who's that? Will Zalatoris. Has he got it? Oh, he missed it. Yeah, Muppet. <laughs> Still only one shot ahead though. That's pretty close. But they're all finished now. Well, the ones that could catch me. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool what they've done that you can actually swap the courses out now because when you start getting the, the new courses that they're going to bring in, things like Pebble Beach and all that, you can put them in. I mean, it's all right for you guys that aren't the next makers. Uh, you just can do it straight off the bat. You just can go and play all these other ones. But usually when I play, I only ever play when I do a video. But that, I, when the game sort of comes out, I, I usually kick the arse out of it, if you know what I mean. Oh, a bit of a slow. But they do ask us not to record courses that they haven't... Um, officially got the license for because you think about it if I do a course with um, say uh, what's his name oh CLV the CLV see if I put his uh, Augusta course in here and because I'm part of Next Makers and EA have the license for Augusta they could sue 2k because I'm using it and I'm part of the, the Next Makers so that's why they ask us not to do videos of um, RCR courses. So there you go. That's the Players' Championship. And I just absolutely stormed that one. Minus 10. Lovely little putt there at the end. So like I said, I will withdraw from another couple of tournaments. I should be back up in first place now. And I'll try and get to the, the Renaissance Club and that. I'll try and maybe get, I don't know, maybe six or seven videos done by the time I, I throw this set uh, before they, they take it off us. Let's take a little screenshot of that. Now, let's see what we get at the end of this. We did hit quite high. We hit a minus 10. We beat a rival. We win the tournament. So, we should... Get another sponsor. There you go. Perfect. I've got perfect. Um, Would you call it reputation with Nike and Ping? And I absolutely hammered Will Zalatoris. All right. Let's see what I get here. Oh, I only got two little things. So I think I wonder if it's random then. I wonder. It might be random. So there you go, guys. That was a player's championship. I see. Here we go. Look. We Adidas have our eyes on you. And we, uh, for a while now, we are very interested for apparel. But I've already got an apparel one. I think it's a ball one I need. Apparel. Clubs. Bugger. Um, let's see what that what it says here. See? Yeah. Because I took that with clubs, I've already got a sponsorship with Ping. And they're giving me clubs. Uh, you're about to end your contract with Ping. Ping. Doing so will cause you to lose reputation with this brand, which may impact other contracts you have signed with them. Are you sure? So I'll cancel that. And I'll wait till I get one that comes up with the, as you see, apparel clubs and ball. I'll, I'll wait till I get one that comes up with ball and then I'll take that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.